Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new card fight Vanguard video for you guys today. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we are stepping away from my beloved Dragon Empire. And we are going to mess with some Brand Gate because if you guys have been watching the anime, we have had two episodes of the new Alestra putting in work. And I thought that the deck seemed really, really fun. And I thought I'd throw something together and try the deck out. So here we are. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on too many of the cards, which go over some of the key cards and explain what we're doing with this deck design and why we went with the dimensions we went with. And then we're going to go and jump into a game. So uh, big boy here is Faded One of Guiding Star, Willester Blitz Arms. For anybody that doesn't know what it does, when this card attacks a Vanguard, sorry, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, Energy Blast 2, choose a product card from your order zone, operate it, and this unit gets plus 10,000 power. Divine Skill, Act. Counter Blast 1, choose up to two product cards with different names from your hand and put them into the order zone. If you put two cards, choose a product from your order zone and operate it. Alright, a couple things about this card that make it really, really cool. First off, the fact that its first effect is an Energy Blast. Nothing in the game uses too many, too many Energy Blasts right now, so that's almost like a free effect. As far as its Divine skill goes, this is the first one we see that's a, like a full-blown, just straight setup skill. But being able to play two products from your hand without actually counting as your once per turn set. Like if you had three products, you could play all of them in one turn because of this effect. Also being able to, you know, force operate one. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're going eight crit, three draw. We're playing four bone mine. The deck does counter blast a lot, but because it's a brand gate deck, we have plenty of counter charge. We have bone mine and we have, uh, Mega Grange, Mega Graco, Graco, what a name, but this is an on hit, uh, on boost if it hits counter charge. Uh, as far as our products, we're playing uh, Mobile Candle in Garden. Uh, when it's put into the drop zone from your hand or order zone during your turn, you can immediately put it back into the order zone or into the soul, so it gives a soul or if we pitch it for like for like ride, we can immediately put it into the order zone, which is cool because then we can still play it another order that turn. Combine rusher because it's so easy to get out. We don't. I, I'm not maxing out on four though. I probably. You know what? I'm. In. I might make that change right now. Yeah. Uh. So, we're going pretty light on the products because they're all searchable now. Uh, assault flight carrier Lubs Lubstall. Uh, it's just a lot of a lot of draw. This is one of our main draw engine cards, and it gets a soul if we, with soul charges. Basically, when it's played, we get to draw and soul charge, and then whenever it's operated, because most times we're going to be operating during our battle phase, it gives us a draw. Uh, Frey Height and Torres, both of them allow us to operate during the battle phase, which is cool because of maximum. This one's a counter blast. This one's a soul blast too. This one can also search them if we need to. Normally we won't. We are playing uh, Habitable Zone. Habitable Zone because we don't need our soul too much and we have waste of soul charge, so it's just more draw power. As we are, we do have to play a lot of grade threes in this deck. It's nice to have the extra draw to make sure we have the defense. Uh, Mobile Fortress of Obliteration, Frey Shields Maximum, for anybody that doesn't know what it does. When this card is operated, choose one of your points rear guards, retire it, choose one of your points span guards, it gets minus 5,000 power, and then it has an optional effect, kind of bless one, return one of your rear guards to your hand, call this unit as a 23k rear guard with one critical. But then at the end of turn, it goes back to the order zone. So you can actually, thanks to our grade twos, we can actually call this during the battle phase. We can also do it with uh, Willestra if we had extra kind of bless. Or we could just operate it, reduce our points, vanguard, and retire a rear guard. It's really, really strong. Uh, bracing, we're playing Bracing Angel Ladder because Shiri Nui is everywhere and this is a big time anti Shiri Nui card and because we have effects to play our products without having to actually waste our once per turn order we can actually still use this. And then we're playing one Orianthi because it can only be operated by Willestra skill. That's a big deal that I didn't realize about this card. When you set this card you get to draw a card in Energy Charge 3 which is dope. It cannot be operated the turn that it's set, but on your following turn, it has to be operated by Willestra's skill. And if it is, 
then you can, you know, retire when your points rear guards, neg 10,000 your points vanguard, and deal damage if they're at four or lower. So those are our, our main cards, and we basically wanted to go pretty aggressive with this build while still being able to maintain a lot of resource management because this deck does use a lot of resources, but it's really, really fun once it gets going. So enough from me. Let's go jump into a game. All right, we got a game. All right. Ooh, we get to go first. All right, now for our opening hand, we don't want to see any of our product cards because we can search them all. So we're going to send this back. We're going to send this back. And we're going to go, we're going to send the trigger back too because we want to be pretty offensive. So this is a good hand. This is a very good hand. All right. Bam. Ooh. We have two pretty aggressive decks. All right, we're going to draw off turn. We're going to discard. Rod. Get our energy generator. And then we're going to use the grade two skill to soul blast. To send it to the bottom of the deck and draw. Ooh, ah, oh, I didn't want to draw Arianthe. I wonder. So small problem with the ride line is you can only get the product cards from deck from deck specifically so now that i have Arianthe, i can't get i can't you know grade three turn normally i would search too but i'll probably i'll be i'll probably be able to search some other ones but we'll see what happens uh we're gonna no guard that sweet all right now we go and draw now we're going to start, you know, copying the anime a little bit, because we're going to, uh, we'll just cut the crit trigger to ride, and then Strazer's skill, Soul Blast 1, we get to search a product that's a grade equal to or lower than our Vanguard, our points Vanguard, I'm sorry, so we're going to get the Kennel, if I can find it. If we had gone second, we could have grabbed uh, Assault Carrier. All right, Shuffle. Now we're going to set it. Now, mm, do we want to rush? No, because he's just going to swing rear guard. So we'll just, we won't overcommit this time. So we'll go to Battle Phase, Swing, Skill, Energy Blast 3. So call this guy up. All right, and no trigger. And then we swing with this. All right, and he guarded it. So now this goes back to the order zone and we're done. I didn't want to draw this because I wanted to search it. it sucks because now we can only search one. So we're gonna, we're gonna grab maximum, but maybe I should play more products, but what are the chances of me drawing both of these? Looks like he's going to try and push. Yeah, he's definitely going to try to rack up the damage. So we're going to have to play a little, a little bit defensively. That was cute, but he's bringing up a lot of cards in hand. Like I could literally just not guard anything and then just go ham on him next turn. Um, sure. We'll guard that. 
Sweet. Now I have no fear. Mm. Should I go to four? Yeah, because we're going to try. We're going to blow them out next turn. We're just going to take both hits. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I'm actually going to ditch the Taurus because we only need one. So we're going to ride. We're going to Soul Blast one. We're going to drop this to search our last product. On the bright side, we have no products left in deck. So. Alright, and then we will shuffle. Uh, we're gonna use the divine skill. We're gonna play Urianthe and Maximum. And then we're gonna operate Maximum. Retiring that. And minus 5k to the Vanguard. And then Urianthe skill when it sets, you can energy charge three and draw a card. Then we're also going to play Levzel skill. We get to draw a card, soul charge one. Next, I'm trying to make sure I can maximize properly. We'll call out Torres. Should I call out Boba Mine so we can clear the board? Nah, maybe I should sleep. Do it like this. Go battle phase plus five k here. Swing skill counter blast one. Operate retiring the token and minus five k to the vanguard. So he's definitely eating that. All right. That swing, skill, energy blast two. Uh, we're gonna operate it again. So we're gonna retire this. And then we gain 10K. And then we're going to counter blast one. I'm going to return this to hand and call this up. Yeah, that uh, that skill's kind of nuts. One and two, and then swing. All right, and end turn back up there. We're still not in the greatest spot because, you know, we're at four damage already, but we have Persona Ride, we have a PG, we have Shield, we could take a damage. It's going to be kind of tough for him to kill, completely wipe us out. Especially since it's not a Persona Ride turn, but we'll see what happens. Because as far as I remember, the glitter units don't force Persona Ride. Oh, he might be going for it. Ooh, I should have killed his rear guard first. Damn. I didn't realize that you had to retire rear guard for that.
Front row. No, it's a grade two. So he's got four attacks. If he has the grade three, we might be in trouble. Might be in trouble. Did he just draw? All right. So now he's still blast one. He gets his three tokens. And then he's probably going to pop all the tokens to give the power to his grade zero. Which in turn powers up his grade his grade two. just did one and then because of the order the back row gains 5k each so I mean I guess it worked but what else does he want to do because we've got two 5k hits all right he's going with the 5k um we'll guard this we want to try and save the bobo mine if we can so we'll guard with the combine Russia For this, we're gonna grab that. And pray he doesn't get an over trigger. Uh oh. That could be a problem. That's fine. Alright, cool. We're do we're good. Because now we're gonna take the Momo K and we have the PG for the last attack. So Take one. And PG. And we could discard the grade three because we have the other one for the Persona Red. Oh god, he's got the grade three. No, he doesn't. Okay. Ooh, I got scared there. Alright, let's do this. This is gonna be a fun turn. Alright, so now we persona ride. Boop. Ooh, that was a really good top deck. That's a really good top deck. All right. And I guess we'll see. we could keep the bone in mind in hand. We don't really we want this attack to be a little bigger. So I'm just trying to think of the order I want to do this in. Because we want to be able to max out on attacks. Maybe I should put another maximum in. Because two maximums right now would have been dope. Um, yeah, we're going to neg his vanguard a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go battle phase. Let me not mess this up. I'm just thinking. I want to maximize. So we're going to go... We're going to go with Torres first. Give him plus 5k. Counter blast one, operate maximum, retire, minus five to banger. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing Vanguard next. Oh, he's the. I forgot to, th I should have swung Vanguard first. Because I forgot to think about Arianthe. Damn. I hope he guards. It'd be a mistake for him to guard, but I hope he guards. You know what? I'm okay with it because we're going to deal a damage to him anyway. Oh, he doesn't even heal. Never mind. <laughs> uh. I think I'm still going to operate Urianthe to give him minus 10. Yeah. We're going gonna to negate that trigger, basically. So we're going to do this to retire that and minus 10k of EG. All 
and then plus 10k to me. I forgot he gains 10k as well. So we still have two more attacks, and they're going to be pretty big. 28 and 20 and 33 with no triggers. And he's going to lose another 5k. That's what I was saying. This deck is pretty ignorant. <laughs> Multi-attack, reducing power, retire, massive retire power. So that's one to pass. Oh, never mind. I forgot that has a defensive skill. So another 10k. He could have just did one. So two. All right, heal trigger. We'll go to the power over here and we will recover one. Uh, don't mind, don't mind the matter. And then second check, nothing. And then we're gonna go swing, skill. Soul Blast two. Operate, minus 5k. And then skill that bounces back to the hands to call it out. And that's the game. Uh, and it's cool because we basically stole that move from, you know, the actual anime. All right, guys, here's one more look at the deck. As you guys saw the way that one went, it was pretty ignorant. Honestly, I've done three games with this build and I haven't lost any of them. And the only change I might make is maybe add another Maximum or another Arianthe. The problem with Maximum is that Maximum can't be put in, you can't set Maximum unless it's by an effect. And the problem with Arianthe is since Arianthe can only activate its effect when the Vanguard attacks, you can only ever activate one. So, eh? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as far as how the deck actually plays, it's really, really smooth. All the pieces are easily searchable. The combos are bananas. It's got offense. It's got defense because it has a lot of draw power. You never run out of resources because you have soul charge, energy charge, and counter charge. Like, it's really, really fun. And I might have to make this in real life because this is as fun as Braga Dragoras. Maybe even a little bit more because Fargo Dragoras is very direct, whereas this has a lot of flexibility and leaves a lot up to player imagination, or at least more than Fargo Dragoras does. But let me know what you guys think of uh, Wellstrom Blitz Arms down in the comments. Let me know what you got, how you guys are running the deck. If there's any changes you think I should try out. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those links will be down below. That is it from me. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.